Hello everybody, welcome back to another ASMR video on the McWuffin channel. Today, we'll be doing another McWuffin teaches you guys. We're going to be doing a baseball glove. We've done how to swing a baseball bat. We've done basketball. And now we're going to do another baseball episode. You just saw it. It's a glove. So we teach you how to catch fly balls, ground balls, everything like that. So hope you guys enjoy. You guys love the teaching ones. So I'm going to keep it in good with you guys. Because you guys love it. And we'll do it with other sports as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm thinking of doing football next. Um, and then maybe golf. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first, let's get into it. We're gonna do like pop flies. We're gonna do ground balls. Um, we're also just gonna be like just doing it in general. So we're gonna start with pop ups and then go to ground down. So pop ups. What you wanna do is when a ball hits it. So I'm gonna put the camera up so you guys can see this. Um, so when what you wanna do is that um, when a fly ball is to you, if you're an outfielder, um, your first step always wants to be. Back. You don't want to be front because if you are, you're going to overlap it. You want to take one step back and look where it is. If you see it going in, then obviously you run. If you see it going back, then you go back. But when you go back, you do not want to backpedal like this. You kind of want to go to the side like this so you can look for the ball as well. Because if you backpedal, that gets you a risk of you know falling or running into something and you don't know. That could hold, that could result in injury, which is not good, or not catching the ball. So you, if it's coming this way behind you, you kind of want to run like this and catch it. Or if it's coming back, you want to run like this and catch it. And when you do, you want to squeeze it with one hand. You always, I know some people do too, but in my opinion, and what most people do out there, they usually go one hand. So they call for it. I got it, I got it. And catch, just like that. You want to squeeze it so it doesn't pop out, because if it pops out, you know, that's not good. Sometimes if it doesn't, the palm area can hurt. That's pretty normal, especially when you're playing baseball and it's cold and colder outside. So, um, yeah, so, but that's how you do it, ground balls, different, I'm going to move the camera down here, so you guys can see better, so with ground balls, when one gets hit to you, you want to be, in it. so it's not like when you one step back, like the outfield, um, you just want to stay blended, have your feet planted like this, have your glove ready, have, your, have your, you can't see my glove, but it's down here, um, you want your glove down like this, and then when it comes to you, you want to track where it goes. So if it's going to the right, you want to have, you want to do like a little back. You don't want to go like this. That twists your arm and it's going to hurt. It's going to suck. So what you want to do is when it goes to the right, your right, you want to backhand it, throw, and then throw. But if it's on the left side, it's pretty easy. You just, you, then you don't go like this. You go like this. So it goes right in. And then you throw it. So, uh, yeah. That's how you do ground balls. Um, if it comes right to you, you just pick it up. First or a second or whatever the point may be. But that's how you do it. Um if it's a weak ground ball and you want to charge it, just don't go slow. You wanna go full speed and keep your eye on the ball to charge it. So I'm gonna start back here. So if one charges on the other, you wanna go like this. Go to first. You don't wanna go slow, because if you go slow, you give the runner the opportunity to go to first and then you'll be safe. So what you wanna do, hopefully you can hear me over here. You wanna charge, pick it up, go to first. So that's what you want to do. If it's behind, if it's going really fast, just stay forward, stay in front of it, pick it up, and throw the first. So that's what you do about ground balls. Um, what else is there really to do? Could just tap here for some extra ASMR. Um, but yeah, that should be about it for um, gluffing. Um, I'm just doing like rough taps for boy ASMR while I do the intro. I mean, outro, excuse me. So thank you all for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'm probably going to do like football, golf, next, but I'm going to go teaching you the sports because you guys love those videos, so I'm going to keep doing them. You did really well in the basketball one, and I'm about to upload the baseball bat one in this one. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all for the support on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next ASMR video. McLaughlin out. Bye, everyone.